Hello, this is a video about The Uninhabitable Earth by the American journalist David Wallace Wells. This came out um, as a book in 2019, but it was expanded from an essay he wrote in 2017 in the New York Magazine. The whole book is about the real consequences of climate change and how that's going to affect so many different things on the planet that will make it impossible for us to survive here. And it definitely delivered on that, um, but I didn't enjoy reading it. I expected it to be a sort of like slightly alarmist but still solution-oriented sort of thesis on an, an impassioned speech about climate change. Um, uh, that's not what I got at all. The first two thirds were just like data sheets explaining all of the different ways we're going to be fucked. And the final third was an overly intellectualized summary of everything that came before. I am always like earmark the bottom of books when I read them for things that I might want to then talk about in a video or like where there's a particularly good quote. And there's a good 10 here. And yeah, when I was looking back to make notes for this video yesterday, um, I couldn't make sense of any of the reasons why I'd pin them down. Like usually it's quite um, obvious the thing that I'm drawn to on the page, but this was actually like a weirdly dense read, especially the, the final third where it uh, you you really have to be in the mind of the book to, to get what it is. You can't just kind of glance at it. This isn't a book that you can just read a couple pages of every now and then and, and get the continuity of, of what he's trying to say. So as I said, it's about all of the ways in which we're fucked. Uh, let me read you the chapter titles. Um, so we start with heat death, um, then hunger, how we're not going to be able to uh, feed our populations with the, the change in in the agricultural land. Uh, drowning, how like mass and flash flooding is going to happen everywhere. Wildfire, how, how all of the fires are getting out of control. Disasters no longer natural, which is about like the once in a lifetime, once in a century sort of like flood or tornado is, is going to become so commonplace. Uh, freshwater drain, how um, we always talk about uh, like environmental change in terms of salt water, but fresh water is is like the way that we farm and that system's all fucked. Um, dying oceans, unbreathable air, plagues of warming, economic collapse, climate conflict, and systems about how they're all inextricably linked to each other. And there is a lot of data in this book. It basically goes through um, on the basis of like degrees of, of global warming. It goes through the worst case scenario for each of these situations, the probable case, and then the like really hopeful case if we got our act together and started working to change them now. And they're all really bad. <laughs> Even the most hopeful case is like, we're still very fucked. And reading this in March of 2020, when it felt like the world as I knew it was falling around around me, um, this didn't help. But although it was very exhaustive and very depressing, I think it really did its job. The alarm has been sounded within me and now I feel sort of like armed with all of these facts that I kind of like knew, but never really internalized. I think everyone thinks that they can kind of like live their lives the same way the generation before them has. Like I imagine having kids and living in the country and growing to a ripe old age. And it's much harder to believe that fairy tale when you're like very aware of how the world is going to change over the next century. So in that way, this book really did its job. Like I'm coming out as, I mean, I've always been like an advocate for, for climate change. Well, like advocate. Um, I've never, I didn't come into it being like, I don't believe what you're saying. Um, or I, you know, I was already kind of sold coming into it, but coming out of it, like I'm, a, I'm much more afraid and alarmed. And although it was, pretty boring and pretty like exhausting to read. Yes, it's done what it wanted to do. And that's basically all I have to talk about about The Uninhabitable Earth, A Story of Our Future by David Wallace Wells. Um, oh, would I recommend you read this? Probably not, unless you are like want to not sleep as much, I guess. Um, it's obviously good to be armed with knowledge, but I think like the, the way this pounds it into you um, it's probably not good for many people's health uh, and definitely in a climate around the time this video is going to be posted. Um, maybe we should be protecting ourselves a bit more than reading things that are going to shock us to our core. If you have read this, tell me what you liked about it and what you didn't like about it. Um, and I'd love if you could recommend in the comments some other kind of environmentalism books because I do like reading about nature. I'm feeling more like part of the global story 
um, I, I really enjoy that as well. So this has been a video on the unhabitable earth by David Wallace Wells. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next one.